Seamless knitting is circular weft knitting. And what it means basically is that you're producing fabric in a circular fashion and that you're able to engineer and decide exactly what each needle and what each yarn is doing. So you're using eight different yarn feeders, each of which can have four to six different yarns, and you're using over 1,300 needles. For each of these needles and each of these yarns, every time it enters the fabric, you're actually able to determine the tension at which it enters the fabric, the yarn itself that enters the fabric, and if you want that to be a mesh texture, a rib texture, or a variety of other textures such as PK or single jersey. The thing that's probably the most unique is the body mapping and the endless possibilities. The fact that you can knit textures however you want, wherever you want, in an unlimited fashion is something that's very unique. In cut and sew garments, typically what you would do is every time you want to change a selection or add ventilation, for instance, you would need to cut out and insert a new piece of fabric. In seamless, you're able to change selections radically within one fabric without any seams. That's one of the major advantages. We use top two machines that we've been using for many years. We also have Evo J machinery that is very advanced. We have the TR machine that we're able to use to make true transfer holes, as well as the double jersey DJ machine, the TL reciprocal knit machine, the body size machine, which is an altogether different technology, and also sleeve machines. We are constantly moving towards the newest technologies and the newest innovations, partnering with our yarn suppliers or strategic partners in every possible way to maximize the offerings that we can bring to market. One of the main reasons that a customer or retailer would come to Tefron is we have the ability to take a garment that is currently uncomfortable, which is a customer's main concern, and turn it into seamless, where we create a state-of-the-art garment for them that can do not only a comfort factor, but it gives you perhaps wicking, perhaps it's moisture management, perhaps it can do lots of things for you that your basic cut and sew garment cannot do. So at Tefron, the way that we get the product from the beginning stage to the end stage is that we start with a meeting with all the experts. We talk about the performance requirements, the fashion requirements of the garment, and make sure that they're executable and determine which technology, which machinery, and which dyeing we're going to use. The pattern maker goes and creates a pattern based on the sizing and the fashion that the client has requested. So this is actually our virtual prototyping process. It's a 3D Optitex prototyping process. What we do here is for the first proto or two prototypes with many of our clients, we're actually creating the prototype virtually. They're able to see exactly how the style is going to look off the machines, exactly where the body mapping is going to be. We're able to get feedback very quickly from the client before we begin physical prototyping. The knitting expert is then inserting all the textures and the body mapping that need to exist in that garment. Within the body mapping itself, you then are able to say exactly which type of knit and which type of texturing or selection as we call it in the seamless world you would like to have for each part of the knit. This is actually the heart of seamless knitting, uh, which is really what you're seeing is engineering the pixels and the needles to determine which yarn is used, uh, which stitch is used, and which needle is used. Each pixel represents one yarn and one stitch. The black pixels represent rib, and the green pixels represent a mesh structure. And it's very big on the screen, but the final product is about one inch by three inches, and it looks like that. That file is transferred to a USB disk that we then insert into the Santoni machine. Here we have around 300 Santoni seamless machines. They're mainly used for production. We're using all different types of yarns. We're using natural yarns uh, that we're quarantining. We're using a lot of synthetic yarns. And actually we have one of the bigger developed environments in the world. We have 60 machines here, all of the newest machines, all of the most efficient machines and we dedicate a huge amount of resources to our development department. The yarns are coming from here, they're entering through the machinery here, and the needles here are capturing the yarn and making them into a fabric. We've just opened up the top of one of the machines so that you can see inside a little bit exactly how the knit's coming together. We knit the fabric, and the fabric comes out as almost full garments. We're putting it on a wide form, stretching the fabric, and you can very clearly see if there are any defects or issues with the knit. Uh, we're able to enter antimicrobial treatments, their softening treatments. So this is how it comes from the machine. We're actually dyeing the garment. This is where she's going to cut and trim. Once the fabric comes out from dyeing or from washing, we're going to the sewing phase, cutting the fabrics as needed, and then sewing them. If there are specific performance requirements or color fastness requirements, we do have a lab here in-house 
where we're able to do the checks that are needed to ensure that the fabrics are maintaining the standards that are required. Teffron offers an end-to-end -end global solution for all your manufacturing needs. We have factories located strategically in the Middle East as well as Asia to provide free trade garments to the three largest markets in the world, the United States, Europe, and China. We have a team of real experts here that can help you to design all of your performance needs, whether it be for sportswear, for lingerie, support for bras, and we have an excellent creative and design team that can help to bring this technology to life.